Hi everyone, this is me Bilal. Uh, in this video, you will learn how to use L298N motor driver or L298 motor driver. Uh, both these motor drivers are almost same. Uh, so, I have already designed a Proteus circuit for you. And as you can see, this is the IC of uh, L298N motor driver. And with this motor driver we can control two DC motors and we can control speed as well as direction of DC motors for example here we have connected a one DC motor with output 1 and output 2 and second DC motor with output 3 and output 4 we are uh, using these diodes because you know uh, whenever DC motor uh, operate it will uh, cause back EMF and we are using these diodes as a free wheeling diodes to uh, avoid the effect of uh, back EMF. So uh, here, these are the input pins of uh, motor driver. Uh, input 1 and input 2 have a link with output 1 and output 2 and input 3 and input 4 have a link with uh, output 3 and output 4 and both and enable A and enable P basically are enable pins when these pins are high uh, you can say when you apply 5 volt to these pins and uh, this uh, these pins will be active as you can say motor 1 will be active and when you apply 0 motor uh, 1 will remain off so you need to enable this pin when you want to uh, use motor driver uh, L298 uh, you can say if you want to use a high side or, or, or one motor and if you want to use another motor you have to enable uh, uh, pin number 11 enable B so let's start we have already connected 5 volt with enable A and enable B you can use uh, a switch instead of uh, direct uh, supply of 5 volt and if you want uh, if you want to control uh, speed uh, of DC motor as, as, as well as traction of speed uh, DC motor you have to uh, connect pulse width modulation here on enable A and enable B instead of uh, just 5 or 0 volt so if you want to control uh, speed of DC motor you know you have to change the voltages to change the voltages, uh, voltages you have to use PWM and you will apply PWM uh, on this pin for motor 1 and uh, on, uh, or on pin 11 for motor 2 so let's run this simulation and check how this works first of all play the simulation as you can see we have applied 0 0 at input 1 and input 2 and motor is off and similarly we have applied input 0 0 at in input 3 and input 4 and motor is off. motor 2 is also off when you uh, apply 1 on input 1 and 0 on input 2 motor will start rotating in clockwise direction as you can see motor is rotating in clockwise direction but if you invert the uh, logic for example we have given 1 on input 2 pin and 0 on uh, input 1 pin motor is now rotating in anti-clockwise so motor uh, will be rotating with full speed uh, because we have connected enable with 5 volt but if you want to control the speed of DC motor as well you, you just need to connect uh, PWM here and similarly if you uh, make input pin 3 high and input uh, pin 4 low motor 2 will rotate in clockwise uh, direction and similarly if you invert the polarity motor will start rotating anti-clockwise direction if both the pins are high again motor will not run when, because when both the pins are high you will get one and one uh, on output you will get high signal on both pins when Pin number 13 is high, 14 is also high. There is no difference of potential, so motor will not rotate due to not uh, not available potential or no uh, potential difference. And similarly, when uh, input one, input two, both are high, motor will not rotate due to no potential difference. And similarly, when you when one pin is high, other is uh, low, motor will rotate according to these combinations so this is all about this tutorial if you want to learn more about uh, how to use this l298 uh, motor driver to control speed of using motor uh, just visit my website microcontrollerslab.com or i have provided a link of this article in the description of this video thanks for watching this video